Hello, I'm Justine O'Hara. I'm a consultant craniofacial and plastic surgeon here at Great Ormond Street. I wanted to talk today about single suture cranial synostosis, which is quite common in society. We see lots of children with single suture cranial synostosis in the craniofacial clinic here at Great Ormond Street. These are commonly premature suture fusions or closure of the sutures early, which causes a shape change difference in the children's head. For example, the metopic suture, if it closes early, it doesn't allow the forehead to grow out. And therefore, the children end up with a slightly triangular shaped forehead or otherwise known as trying, trigonocephaly. If the sagittal suture, the long one over the top, closes early, the children's head can't grow in width, it has to grow in length. So they end up with a long, narrow head, otherwise known as scaphocephaly. Unicoronal synostosis causes a pinching effect on one side, such that the forehead doesn't really grow and the ear gets displaced, such that the eye and the brow on that side looks asymmetric. Additionally, lambdoid synostosis, which is quite rare, um, can cause a shape change at the back of the head. We treat all types of cranial synostosis with different operations designed for each different pathology. For unicoronal or metopic synostosis, we use a frontal orbital remodeling. For scaphocephaly, we may do spring cranioplasty or a total calvarial remodeling, depending on each individual child. 